the void, but somehow different this time. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closer sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spymaster caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me who did? We were just playing. Mary Lane and Jessie, who is here now? It was her. Delilah's lie. She broke it. nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I was young, the Loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held, and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued he doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. But I'm not even sure he knows where he is.
even in the void, if only I could do more. Mother? That wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I, I feel, feel my time, time drawing to an end. Soon. age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, He'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. wanted me to help him with a rather the Lila Copperspoon or is it Caldwin to make his clockwork soldiers that are Anton when I brought you back you could barely speak but it's been three days they tortured him his body is covered with bruises Delilah has the throne and my father is missing this is Anton Sokolov the greatest mind in the Empire no, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go.
There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. see anything suspicious everything around it's here looks suspicious. suspicious the rats look suspicious should I yell about them Just have a look. Be careful. Did you hear that?
get back to Dunwall. It's not something bad. I feel so bad. Maybe it's not. I haven't seen the kids in two years. Deserve the promotion. She wouldn't know a promotion if it hit her in the head. Taste it off. That weren't no blue jawed hagfish. Our river crust is more likely. What? What? Wha Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I'd check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? What a pleasant surprise to see. Ah, you want blueprints for better weaponry. Certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. <clears throat> No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. <sighs> Visit again soon, and keep a close watch on your coin.
smells like piss. said to give you his regards that donkey face cretin can open risk for all i care did you bring me something a silver cigarette case like we agreed no listen i can't go on doing this stealing for you i'll lose my job do you want to be a servant all your life you're always talking about leaving karnak on a big white boat never to come back you spend your days polishing silver cutlery Come with me, Beatrix. Let's leave. Could we really get passage on a ship? What if they find us? You know I'll protect you. Just like when we were kids. Give for a bottle of pear soda. Who's she to say I didn't deserve the promotion? She wouldn't know a promotion if it hit her in the head. In fact, maybe that's just what she needs.
at you, making your way across this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated baker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But just before mother and father married her off so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well.